One of the greatest joys of being a documentary filmmaker is all the amazing people I meet along the way. And one of the greatest frustrations is all the stories I film with them that end up on the cutting room floor. For example, the story of the endurance swimmer and citizen diplomat, Lynn Cox. I first stumbled upon Lynn while researching for my most recent film, The Straight Guys, in the early 2000s. When she was only 15, Lynn broke the world record for swimming across the English Channel. She went on to swim across most of the greatest waterways of the world. But there was one swim in particular that captured my imagination. This is the scene we edited about it. That's when a brave American named Lynn Cox swam two hours in freezing waters from Little Diomede over to Soviet Big Diomede in a gesture of peace and friendship. Two years later, the Berlin Wall fell and the Iron Curtain crumbled. Today, the waters across the Dateline look peaceful, even though a handful of Russian soldiers on Big Diomede still watch over them. Lynn had spent 11 years trying to get official permission for her swim. It arrived less than 24 hours before she entered the freezing waters. Lynn was prepared to do the swim even without official permission and risk getting arrested. Fortunately, that didn't happen. Instead, she was given a hero's welcome upon arriving on Little Diomede after nearly two hours in the water. Skeptics said it couldn't be done, but Lynn had a point to make that Americans and Russians can coexist and even thrive if we can just put aside our animosities and work together for the benefit of all humanity. In the years that followed Lynn's swim, Americans and Russians enjoyed a period of friendship and mutual cooperation, which brought us such remarkable achievements as the International Space Station. But now we've fallen back into our old Cold War ways and are facing off once again over the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The situation seems hopeless, but maybe that's why it's so important to look back at Lynn's amazing accomplishment 35 years ago. Only months after her swim, Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev and US President Ronald Reagan signed the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, eliminating over 2,600 ballistic and cruise missiles. On the occasion of the signing, Gorbachev gave credit to the citizen diplomat Lynn Cox for showing how Americans and Russians can be friends, despite the forces tearing us apart. Last summer, it took a daring American girl by the name of Lynn Cox a mere two hours to swim the distance separating our two countries. By her courage, she showed how close to each other our two peoples live. 